Hello, this is Jughead TV and welcome back. Early Friday morning, we are going for a micro jigging session again and probably do some casting also. So let's talk about again slow jigging, maybe more in depth and let's see what we can catch today and we are going in the out in dubai area so there is going to be different species involved hopefully the day is much better the storm stopped so we have a lot of a lot of uh, expectations so let's see what we can do I had to make a voiceover of the video here because my front camera didn't work properly. So we are here on the spot and we start jigging, drop the jig down, let it reach the bottom. And once it reaches the bottom, you start playing the jig up one, two, three, four, five, spring it and then drop it back again. One, two, three, four. So again, spring it, drop it back again. And here is the bite. Not a very big fish, but small bite. The, the idea here is that you don't leave the very far from the sea floor because most of the fish, like emperors, groupers, they are nearby the sea floor itself. So the idea here is just drop the, you know, play the dance the jig up a bit and then drop it back again. And usually on the small pauses between that or on the dance itself, the bites happen. Here is a small sherry, the emperor fish. It's not very big. It was caught on a duo, drag metal cast sling, 30 gram. The fish is not very big, but it's a strong fighter. And this one is for releasing. So we drop back again. The depth here is around 18, 20 meters. And I'm using 30 gram jig because of uh, the wind. And the drift was a bit faster. So I had to make it a bit heavier than 20-25 grams, so I used 30 gram jig. So we start playing again, 1, 2, 3, and then let it fall. The spring, drop it back again. And then again, 1, 2, and here is one more bite. And this one is a stronger fish. <coughs> This one acts much stronger and I'm not rushing it because it's 0 0.6, only 12 will be line. So, and being on the board gives you some option not to rush that kind of fish. So that's the guy who was giving me a fight on a 0.6 PE. That's a really nice sized sherry, you know. So on 0 
and it's on a 30 gram jig only <coughs> so feels really good but a good really good fighter nice fighter and this guy is gonna go on the table today <laughs> a very nice fish let's do some catch and cook so again we drop the jig all the way back and play it one two three four just a little above the bottom drop it back fish which is lives near the bottom so that's why we are not putting the jig too much up That's the 
simple, basic, line for jigging moves. And what we're gonna try now is try to use a soft bait in a deep sea on a slow slow jig rod. jigging 
and I'm dropping the soft bait in the I mean we dropped all together so there was no bite on a jig and immediately there was two bites on a soft bait so I think that proves a lot come on come come baby that's not a baby of course but come anyway The nice thing about this slow jigging rod also the springing action of the rod tip is giving you nice resistance to the Yeah and I was <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's a grouper <laughs> That's a grouper, nice size, and look, this is soft bait, guys. This is not jig, this is soft bait, and immediately, and it was not biting on us, so on the jigs. See? That's the answer about the deep sea soft baiting. How do you like the size? This one is a keeper, guys. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Niaz is gonna try now soft bait. So it's not like I mean he never he never tried soft bait. So let's see how it's gonna perform. Some people say it's hard to play and stuff. This guy never tried soft bait, so he is gonna try now. After he saw the hamur, so he he wants to try to catch something similar. So I give him the soft bit and let's see what he can do with it. Just drop it down all the way. Yeah. Immediately. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the soft nice. bit didn't reach nice. even the even the bottom. Yet. Nice. <laughs> the other guys are asking soft bait now from me. <laughs> yeah, don't rush. This is 0 0.6, so don't rush. Play it properly. Yeah, now when when the fish is not fighting, start start retrieving. So that's the beauty of soft bait because of the it's realistic view you know it's uh, the, the the presentation because it moves very realistic so the fish will bite immediately they think it's a real fish yeah keep it tight all the time because you have single hook you can attach assist hooks to the head of the jig head if you want Oh, well, go, 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 the fish is going now, so start retrieving, it's not fighting, it's not fighting much, yeah, it's coming, it's coming, ah, let me help you, yeah. and that's the beautiful sherry on a soft bait again, see, immediately, it just didn't even drop till the bottom, straight away, so this is eco gear bolt, looks like real fish and just a killer there is no other explanation to this
Rusiei. Dar acolo, da, da și mai lider, s-o dat într-o catie, n-au, e taie. Thank you guys again for watching. Thanks a lot for fishing UAE, organizing this nice trip, and try them guys, and especially ask for Captain Robin. You know some nice spots, so you can try go enjoy micro jigging, try to catch some nice fish. So today, I hope you understood some of the key features of the micro jigging and the slow jigging itself. And at the same time, uh, uh, soft bait, how effective the soft bait is, especially, you know, looking for uh, some specific species like sh uh, sherry and uh, grouper, the emperors and groupers on the bottom structure. So that's, uh, you know, you should try that. Uh, according to the weights, I mean, you can use 20, 30, 40 grams. Uh, you don't need to be as vertical as jig for example so you can let it uh, drift away from you and then keep slowly retrieving it because the, what happens the soft bait will be moving between the rocks and stuff like a small fish or a small kind of uh, creature and uh, you will just uh, find someone hiding under the rocks and waiting for that kind of fish and it moves slowly so that means uh, you will get uh, a chance to get that fish thanks a lot again uh, if you have any questions again ask below comment below and uh, the question is now uh, how much do you think is the weight of the grouper put it in the comments and uh, we will try to find the winner maybe if we will find someone who is gonna get very close to the weight we will send him a face mask so thanks a lot and bye bye